welcome to the Hogtide Rising Channel. Well, it is a little bit dreary and a little bit drizzly here at the Chesterman Beach parking lot where I'm currently set up. And I'm going to uh, open up, I've, well, I've opened up the back of my van and I'm going to show you something that I picked up shortly after I bought the van. As I told you in the last video, bought the van in Calgary, bought a bed, bought a cooler, and hit the road. Well, I worked my way through Invermere, where I stopped to talk to some friends, and ended up in Creston, where some of my motorcycle gear was dashed. Figured I wasn't going to be using it on a motorcycle any anytime real soon, so I might as well pick it up and start using it in the van. And the first item which you're going to see is my camp kitchen. And the second item which you will see is just a piece of motorcycle equipment that fits perfectly into my van and that I use for storage. Now this first item is a Harley Davidson day pack. I used to use it when I was motorcycle touring to carry my camp kitchen. I'm going to take everything out and set it up and show you what my camp kit kitchen looks like. You will be amazed what I can pack up in this little bag. So as you can see, my camp kitchen is fairly complete. At the back there, you'll see my jet boil mini mole, which I use to boil water, heat up soup, make spaghetti sauce and spaghetti, do all sorts of things. In front of that, some salt and pepper, and the Swiss army knife, which really comes in handy. At the back there in the center, I got two storage containers, plastic store lock storage containers. Basically the bottom one, as well as being a storage plate container, is my one and only eating bowl plate. Everything I eat, uh, I eat out of that. Quick and easy to clean up and uh, takes no room at all. And then the one on top, I use to store stuff at times. In front of all that, well, I have my bamboo eating utensils. I've got a quarter cup measuring cup and a one tablespoon measuring spoon. We have the uh, uh, GSI Java Mill manual coffee grinder and I use that to make my espresso and my French press every morning. At the back, that tall lean black thing, that's my French press coffee mug. In front of it, hiding behind the kicking horse coffee, is my Wakako mini presso maker. Of course, you can't make good coffee without good coffee beans and I use kicking horse. Now, if you want to see how I use that, uh, that Java press and the Java mill and the mini espresso maker and the kicking horse coffee to make really good coffee, well, check out the link over there to the upper right, or it could be to the left. And it'll take you to a video that I did a month or two back in the summer on how I make coffee in a campsite. So there you go, that is my camp kitchen. All complete, nice, easy to use, and takes up next to no room in my van when I pack it away in my Harley Davidson day pack. There, as you can see, everything, that whole camp kitchen that was spread out there is nicely packed away in my Harley Davidson day pack. Now that of course leaves my Kuriak and motorcycle travel pack that's uh, sitting there holding all sorts of wonderful, weird, and mysterious things. 